to Master Davin Idros. Father, I've cleared out the competition. Windhelm may be a challenge. Warmest regards, Myth Idros. Here you are. Fulmer Yorax and Hircine's Agony. And a bit of Urukhan Beg's Vitality. That one is a health potion of sorts. Don't get it mixed up with the other two. Your potions have very interesting names. What's an Urukhan Beg? Urukhan Beg is an aspect of Lord Hircine, like Roki Beg and Guli Beg. Roki Beg is the Great Bear, and we call on him for protection. Urukhan Beg is the Great Stag. And we call on him for, well, vitality. Why, Miss Enna, are you trying to seduce me? What? No. If I wanted to do that, I would have asked to look at your wounds. And, y you know, that potion is for healing, not for... It's a joke. And you have your new bow, at least, though I didn't see you using it. No, I'm saving that for something special. Same thing you need the soul gem for. Yes? I won't ask. These concoctions smell very potent. The mysteries of the alchemical arts are something I've never been able to wrap my mind around, but I recognize quality when I smell it. I would taste them, but I'd rather like to have my wits about me if we're going to be trekking through the unknown to Windhelm. Besides, these are absolutely worth the price of that bow. And then some. Well, if either of us finds a black soul gem, I suppose I'll consider this payment in advance. And we never negotiated your cut of the spoils from that little... extermination job. To be fair, I hardly did any work. Even if you didn't, you saved my hide from those werewolves. Well, for the most part. True. Hmm. How about a thousand? Don't spend it all in one place. And don't wave it around when we get to Riften. I know that much. I'm not a child. I'm a reach woman. Fair enough. I'm not sure how much black soul gems cost, but maybe it will be enough. Shall we away? If you're feeling up to it. I'm still amazed you were leaping all over the place yesterday after getting mangled like that. Oh, believe me, I'm feeling and regretting my decisions today. I'm also wishing I'd wrapped my ribs, healing potion be damned. Although, I do think the salt water helped as much as it stung. Would you like some tea before we go? Canis root and lavender is what I use when the monthlies get bad. A bit of honey if you have a sweet tooth? That, firstly, noted for future reference. And, secondly, I can't even imagine trying to deal with that. Out there. We have our ways. It's not all rays and blood magic, no matter what the Nords might tell you. Although, most rituals don't actually specify what type of blood. That sounds nice, actually. The tea, I mean. Although, I'm not sure the lovely woman who runs this place has a kettle available. If you want to start a fire for it, we should probably get going. Sounds better than me trying to cook in some Nord's kitchen. Be careful on the stairs, all right? <laughs> ah, Syra is going to kill me. Who? Someone I need to get back to. She's waiting for me in Windhelm, I suspect. If she didn't die trying to get back. <clears throat> ah. Oh. I can't believe they dragged you off in front of a witness? She's blind. And was asleep at the time. Oh. Right, and here we are. Coming into Rorikstead. In the cold. Isn't it supposed to be summer? Well... Not technically. It's still spring. And... It's still snowing. Of course, this is actually normal. Great. 
Look, are you going to be complaining about the weather the entire way over to Windhelm? Assuming we can figure out where that is from here? As long as we find the road, I should be able to find our way back. Well, I know how to get to... Uh... Yes, we probably should stick to the road, shouldn't we? Probably, for the sake of not getting lost. See, I know my way around here fairly well. I know my way around most of Rorikstead decently. Good. Back off. Oh, just kill it. There's only one of them. He's not going to attack us. You were saying. Great. Well, I didn't want to... lug all of this back with us, but... Far be it from me to waste something like this. You're going to just dress a corpse right in front of... Alright. Look, it's not going to take that long. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> Besides, there's already crows waiting. They'll make fine work of that. And the one on your shoulders seems quite well behaved. Thank you very much. His name is Crook. Ah. His name is Crook. Uh, yes, like the, the sound he makes. Why is there a painted cow? Oh, I don't know. The Nords do things. The Nords do things that don't actually make sense to me. Like the cow. I don't know why they decided to start sacrificing cattle to giants. The giants aren't doing anybody any harm, and... Well, as long as you don't make them angry, and, uh, of course. They just wander around out here, herding their mammoths. Giants herd mammoths. Of course. What else would they herd? Alright. <laughs> well, at least it looks like it's clearing up a bit. I'll say. It looks like Skyrim is foggy and, uh... humid enough that everything greens up in the spring. I must say I'm not used to that amount of... I'm not used to seeing the land this verdant. That's a good word for it. Oh, I can let my hair out. Ugh. How do you keep that much hair, by the way? Living out here, of all places. Uh, usually I just keep it under the hood. Honestly, I... I'm not particularly fussed about whether or not it's neat. Who are they? Oh, great. The Thalmor ever in Skyrim? We don't like the elves. No, we do not. Let's steer clear of them, shall we? I like the way you think. 
I don't really want to cross them. Although, the other side of that is that... I'm not sure... what the best way through this mess is. Oh. What? Uh... The one in the back of that patrol looked back and I hope she was not watching us. Probably look very strange to those guards over there. Hello. You are absolutely fearless with the wildlife. Well, I don't really have any reason not to be. I feel like something must have died over here. That's a bit disconcerting. I did not know that the... Between the war and the return of the dragons, I wonder if we should not leave Skyrim and ply our trade elsewhere. I admit, the dragons are a concern, but we can avoid them if we do not stay in one place for too long. That may be, but what of the war? That is not so easy to escape from. The war... So, have you seen any dragons? I have... Oh, they've just stopped there. Who's, who's fighting what? Uh... Oh! What's going on there? Your guess is as good as mine. Probably better. Right, we're just going to go around. Very stealthy. Look. I'm not used to having this sort of moss underfoot. Where was that happening? I'm not altogether sure. Have you seen any dragons? I have not seen any dragons, no. One would think that I would have, considering... Excuse me? How much time... I spend just sort of... It's a bit awkward underfoot, isn't it? Just a bit. Right, we're going to come down. There you are. Here I am. Uh... Right, dragons. I have no idea. Hold on. There we go. Not like I am any stranger to walking around with wet boots, but... Anyway. Nope, I haven't seen any dragons. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the roof of that house, first of all. But also there's a strange rock behind it and I'm not quite sure what it is. And I'm curious. What's that saying about curiosity and cats? That satisfaction brought it back. What is that thing? You have better eyes than I do, I suspect. What do you think it is? Well, it looks like a hawk. Or an eagle. Do you want to go in and look at it? I mean, we're sort of on our way places, aren't we? 
I, for one, would like to know what's in this city in case I need to come back to it. Fair enough. I also want to know what that big building is. That looks like a castle to me. Sort of. Are you keeping... Oh. I was trying to see where that fight was happening. Uh... Oh. Apparently right there. I don't think we should bother them. I keep seeing those stones around, and I'm not entirely sure what they are. Um... Excuse me? Need a ride? Actually, I was going to ask you some things about... the city. Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, Jorvaskar, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. You'll want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Right, thank you. Until next time. That was not as useful as I would have liked. What are you trying to find out? First of all, who left that in the middle of the road? The road takes us past many cold rivers. We can fill our And second, if the river is not what that strange rock is doing there and what significance it has. That seems like an important thing to find out. I think. Can I ask why you want to know this? You know, I'm not entirely sure yet. But we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? Huh. I'd sooner bend my knee to hold this storm. I appreciate that you didn't just walk up the main road. Thank you, I think. Or you're welcome, I think. I don't particularly like cities, so... I don't blame you. Born, give me your money. This I, one seems not as anymore. bad, you however. Give me five septums right now, or I'm gonna bloody your nose. No, please! I really don't right. have any money, Bray. I know your family's I'll honor give you is important ten septums to you, tomorrow. but we Just can't oh. afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's dead. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you. you're willing to starve your I wife and daughter? To reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. Interesting. The future of Skyrim. Are you sure you should be going up there? I don't see why not. Well, for one thing, it has a fence. Fair enough, but... Can anyone really blame us for looking? Well, perhaps that man there yelling about elves being... ...the scum of the earth would have something to say about it. Oh. Right. I... 
I don't understand the whole Talos thing, I'm going to be honest. Who built that? I have no idea. So, what do you think? Is it an eagle? I mean, I can't imagine what else it could be. I think I might have something to do here. And what might that be? I'm not sure yet. But I think it has something to do with that. Right, and you need to get going because it's getting late. I do. Although... I did see an inn outside. Perhaps I'll stay there for the night. Right. Well, in that case, safe travels. I hope our paths cross again. So do I, Miss Enna. And I don't say that lightly. Be careful in Riften if you find your way there. And thank you for the tea. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't die. I will do my best. You know where to find me. Probably. I still don't know what his deal is. Right. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Are those two at it again? I knew it. Strike him in the shoulder. Kill him. He's giving you orders. Nice. Die. I'll see you burn. Get him. What's what are you waiting going for? Going on here. Someone do something. If death is what you seek, a fight You'll get your wish. You think you stand a chance? Great. I have walked into a building full of Nords. Yeah. Help. Uh, this should be good. Sorry for intruding. Little blood to clear the air. Hope you have the stomach for it, outsider. What is this? All of this? Ask any fool around here and get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the Blade, drunken rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. I just hope they don't kill each other. Right, I should go break Watch that up. The blades. I'm not sure if I can break that up. I think you won. Somebody help. What? Um Right. I haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? You might do well I'm to learn a smaller weapon. Forgotten. Vary your style a bit. <laughs> Tiny blades don't hurt enough. A sword needs weight. But ten little cuts. All I need is one to cut you in half. Well, when you put it that way. Um... Excuse me? Uh... My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. So I asked the man with the one eye what all of this is. He didn't give me much of an answer. What is this? The companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Right. So... 
Mercenaries, then? Until next time. I think I'm missing a crucial piece of context here, and I have no idea where to start looking for where it is. Besides, what is the thing outside? That is probably... I've come out the wrong way. Probably the best place to start looking is... What is that? There's Crook. Somewhere up there. Wow. It is... Oh. I was right. It has red eyes. Excuse me? Got a lot of steel to shape. What is this besides a giant forge? The Sky Forge? I, my clan fathers, have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Sky Forge steel is all the companions will use for good reason. The Sky Forge. So you're a... You're a smith? Are you blind, girl? I'm a blacksmith. Any halfwit could see that. Right. And you... Work for the companions? Who are mercenaries, I assume? By Izmir, are you thick or just too new to know better? The Companions are the oldest, most honored band of warriors in Skyrim. White One was built around their horn, Yorvaska. Don't reckon they could use you, but stranger things have happened. Right. Are you a companion, then? Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The Companions need the best, so they come to me. I see. The vines watch over you. I'm not thick, as far as I know. Just too new to know better. That doesn't look like anything Nordic that I've ever seen. I'm fairly certain that isn't Nordic. I think... That might have been built by my ancestors. Especially if nobody knows what that even is, and who built it. Right. I'm going to find one of their elders, I think, besides him, because... Elders tend to know things. Tend to. There's... he didn't know anything. Who is she? Are you prepared for tonight's hunt? I've been thinking. We need to be more discreet. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. You know the old man doesn't like it. Let's just not be too obvious. The old man? Oh, I've been seen. Ah, uh, hello. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. By the old gods, you're very tall. Um... Can I ask... What all of this is? I've sort of wandered in and found myself with more questions than answers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Oh, it pays. 
Right, and you mentioned an old man. Where might I find him? I assume you don't mean that one there. We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. Codlack. Um, well, I don't know about being a companion, but... All right, then. I'm sorry. I'm so deeply confused right now. Hmm? Who's in charge around here? The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Codlack advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Right. So Farkas was the one with the... sword. And why would somebody join the Companions, exactly? Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Codlack and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. Learning to fight. That... is interesting. Until next time. And no, I have not heard that story. I'm not exactly from here. There's the so That's Fargus. I am certainly missing something. That is the biggest spriggan I have ever seen. Right! Oh. Stairs. Somebody I should not disturb, probably. Nobody in there? Okay. Who's that down there? Oh. There are people sleeping in here and I should not... Disturb them? Okay. Sorry, I've just wandered down here. I'm looking for the old man, whoever that is. That must be him. Right. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. I'll just I don't wait know out the here. The rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Right. Something tells me neither of us should have heard that. Um. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I have some questions, and you look like you might know the answers, maybe? A stranger comes to our hall. You are the companions, right? What does that even mean? Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. God. I try to hold us to the right path. Right. Ah. Uh, I would like to know more, I think. You seem... This, this seems like something that I should know more about for all sorts of reasons. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. A 
And last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaskar for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, girl? Um... Well... I'm... Uh... <laughs> uh... I have much to learn. I think, and... If battle is what you're good at, then I might have a lot to learn from you. That's the spirit. Vilkis here will get started on that. Vilkis, take her out to the yard and see what she can do. Aye. Right? Hi. Hello. Uh, right? Sorry? I thought Farkas said that he was more of a talker. I'm not so- where did he go? I'm not so sure about that one. Well, great. There he is. That man is terrifying. The Fury of Red Eagle indeed. Did you just wind yourself? Fighting a mannequin? The old man said to have a look at you. So... Let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry. I can take it. Never should have come here. Okay. Oh! What do you think this is? We don't do battle with magic around here, new blood. Sorry. Now come at me! Uh, that was... Sorry, that was just instinct. I... Pretty good arm you have there. How's that? Come on now. Not bad. Oh. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. You're probably right. That was. Sorry for the. Somebody was out here and saw all of that. Whoops. Right, so I think perhaps knowledge about that thing might be an insider secret because I have not been able to figure out how to ask anybody about that at all yet. Right. This will certainly help, though. Uh... Sorry again? What brings you here? I brought... The scary one. I brought his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer, then. That would be me. Does he always send newcomers on errands, or...? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Right. Except for Kodlak, right? Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own. Every woman, her own. Right. I think I need to be going. It's getting late and I need sleep. 
I have a favor to ask. Of course. What would that be? I've been working on a shield for Aella. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. All right. Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, sorry, I know that nobody leads anybody here, but thank you for asking anyway. Well done. Do you know who... Right. So, noted. No magic here. Somebody will get probably angry at me for that. Probably no poison either. Great. Well, if I'm going to be learning how to fight, so then... Ah. They are Nords. Learn to fight from Nords so that I can fight Nords, I think. I think that's the plan. How do I get around here again? I saw him. I just walked right past him. He's very scary. I don't like him. If nothing else, he's just a bit intimidating. There's the old man. Who was that? I shouldn't be nosy, but... Oh. Ella? Sorry to interrupt, but... If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. I have your shield from the blacksmith upstairs. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? I told you. This is the whelp that Vilkis mentioned. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> ah, a woman who lets her actions speak for her. I knew there was something I liked about you. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? Of course we did, Icebrain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, hello. I'm Farkas. Come, follow me. You're significantly less- Skior and Aella like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here in Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. That was a lot. What sort of trouble should I say? Uh, sorry. Should <laughs> you and your brother are quite intimidating. Uh, what sort of trouble should I expect? Nothing but a bunch of lonely bandits. Cowards who will take little effort. Okay, that... I can take care of bandits. Good. Do not spare them your blade. By the way, if you're looking for something to do... <laughs> Alright. And off he goes. Oh. 
Okay. I've been tending to the warriors of your Vasker for as long as I can remember. I'm going to sleep over here with the men aren't. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. You know, honestly, so am I. Right. I don't think I can sleep with these people around. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. Right. I don't actually trust any of these people. On that note... I think what I'm going to do... is find this keep and clear out bandits well it's dark and they won't be able to see me coming because they probably don't really walk around at night very much where is my crow 